collectively have decided we like it. Stuart, let's stream it. When was the last time you listened to music, Stuart? Stop it, stop it, stop <laughs> it. There it was. That was a clip from Taylor Dane's new single. It is called Dreaming, and she is here live with us on the set in New York City. Taylor, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. You've got to give me a tutorial on okay. music in 2015. First of all, mm. how do I get your single? Well, most people, Stuart, go online. They buy music through, you know, obviously they download what, they, what appeals to them. An artist, a single, that's how we do it. Do I download it through Apple Tunes? Yeah, Apple, iTunes, obviously, as most okay. people have iPhones. So. How much do I pay for a single? Uh, well, you had 99 cents. It's gone up to probably about 129. How much of that dollar 29 <laughs> do you get? <laughs> well, now I own my own mu music, which is when I first signed in 1987. We did not. We only got what was called royalty. So at this point, the new single you heard, Dreaming, which is I've owned and we do distribution through iTunes. This is our source of so um, a lot more than I did in the past. But we pay mechanicals, Are you gonna and tell writer me? shares. Are you going to tell me? No, not really. <laughs> it's a rough it's business a to be a musician. Okay. It's a rough business, honey. It's a dollar twenty nine. Let's getting... put on commissions on top of that. Do you share twenty percent of your hard earned dollar then oh. with agents and managers? Maybe a little bit of a management, but hey. that's you know. I do hey. have a. Am percentage. I getting derailed? No, no. no, no. Am I a complainer today? No. Uh, we have to share. I just want to know you where share. the money comes from. So I pay a dollar twenty nine to download your single. Correct. You get a piece of that money. We make a. Then we have a division with iTunes or Amazon, whatever the split's going to be. Are you happy with the split? I mean. Are these guys taking a lot of your money? Are you asking me if it's a monopolized situation? Yes. Um, more, well, it's more, in the, it's more profitable than it was in the past. Much more profitable. Really? For an artist? So, Absolutely. So an artist who gets uh, online and is downloaded a lot is making more money than back in the old days of vinyl or the CD or whatever it was 20 years ago. Well... Now the competition's highly different, and then also the visibility. You have a complete, you know, uh, onslaught of then singles being sold versus what albums were making. So albums generally were what generated more more financial income. Right. But now it's a singles game because people make up their own playlists. So, you know, and I'm the same way. So you're not seeing the sales as they used to be because we have this little thing called streaming yeah. and free music. You're talking about a three-minute, you know, song versus something that you know in film you know this piracy and it's very difficult to make your money through actual you know song release and do you go that, on tour that's where i make the majority that's of my where money. The money is okay correct you're still touring now i am touring behind my greatest hits right now so my last release with itunes in general is greatest hits live and i'm on a greatest hits tour so i tour all the time do you like it i love the relationship I have with my fans and it builds all the time the more I you know it's about branding it's about I mean where our income comes from now is as you saw how it's changed in the last 10 years is products placement going out there you know proactive whatever it's going to be an actual relationship with your audience you have enormous vitality I, I do feel, oh I can feel the energy coming across the set right here <laughs> that's really cool that's really good I'm fa because thank you you've gone through the music industry oh yeah you, a major and with many scrapes yeah, but, Nobody gets out unscathed, but no. Do you miss the old days, the late 80s, early 90s, where you couldn't walk down the street in New York City without being mobbed, could you? Uh, no. Do you miss it? Well, there's missing it. and I mean, I have a deal coming up. I'll be probably getting bumped and scraped again. I mean, it's an <laughs> ever-changing, you know. I don't know. I love my autonomy, and I also love the fact that I still make music, and I'm out there and doing, and I mean... 25 years later. Did you, you know, ever go to the amazing. clubs in New York that played your music? Uh, pastels I, I know in I'm talking to you hard. Of course I went to the clubs. Pastels in Brooklyn? I grew up in Long Island. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So She's where, where were Island the places girl. that you went? Well, I started out and I always did original music. So CBGB's, Bottom right. Line, ah. Bitter End. Interesting. I mean, RT Firefly. We're talking... This is old school. I've no idea what you're talking about. I know you don't. But you were no here. But you're British, but you're cute, so we'll keep you. You were in New please, Jersey please, when Tell It To My Heart came he's out. He's done with you. He's ready to go. He's, 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 he's said, Tell It To My Heart. Uh, he's an old Studio 54 guy. <laughs> this fine young lady that's that's how we're just said, you're British and you're cute. That's really cool. That's one of the nicest things that anybody's ever said. Well, you are. And you're really famous and all the rest of it. You're rich. Nobody thinks you're cute. You I've know got, people think you're cute. I've got six kids and nine grandchildren. <laughs> Some people think I'm cute. <laughs> that's a lot of work. You obviously you what, are getting paid you, here, Stuart, because that's a lot of upkeep. Can we go did out? Did you hear what your producer just said? What? 
Don't say it on a mic. <laughs> no, don't say it on a mic. Can we go out playing more of Dreaming? It's got with a G on the end. Please. It's dreaming, is it? Well, you can say Dreaming. Dreaming. We're in New York. You okay. can, however you would prefer. Okay, uh, I want to play some more because I want to sell some more of these singles at $1.29. Let's do Greatest Hits. That's the whole record. I might get $9.99 if we work this right, Stuart. <laughs> okay, let's put on some Greatest I mean, let's Hits, go. Please, because we're in the money-making <laughs> business, are we? Not? Yes, we are. Taylor, that was wonderful. We wonderful. really appreciated it. <laughs> Anytime you want to come back, it's fine. I would fine. love to come back. A lot of stock tips are where my head's at these days. And by days. the way, every single single that is sold is commissionable to me. <laughs> every single single. Okay. Uh, where are we? Are we dropping the break because she's so good? Oh, generic toss to break. Okay, you're done. Uh, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> back in a moment, everyone. <laughs>